Good morning, boys and girls. And I'm coming to you today from Trinity Martinsburg. Today, we're gonna to talk about this wonderful resurrection window and see who's here and what stories are told in this window. A long time ago when people couldn't read, they made stained glass windows to tell the Bible stories. And that's what this one does. So at the bottom of the window, we have a dark, dark door. That's the door of the tomb where Jesus was put after he died on the cross. But the door is open and there's some people down here and they look kind of excited and a little bit confused. So let's see who we have. First of all, I know you know who that is. That's an angel with angel wings and the angel appeared to tell people that Jesus had risen. And then we have down here, St. John. We know it's St. John because there's a book with his name on it right there. St. John is here and St. Peter. And we know it's St. Peter because of the keys. Jesus said to Peter, I will give you the keys to my kingdom. So Peter and John have shown up and there's a woman. She looks like she's telling them a story. That's Mary Magdalene. She had gone to find Peter and John to let them know that when she came to the tomb early in the morning, it was empty and the body of Jesus was gone and she didn't know where it had gone. So they came to see for themselves what was happening. But as we move up the window, let's move up now. First of all, Christ is risen. That is the Easter song, the Easter phrase. We'll be using that a lot today in our service. And then if we go up higher, we see Jesus. But this is a different Jesus than we might see in other places because if we look closely, Jesus has wounds in his feet, the wounds in his feet, and there's wounds in his hands. And he is standing strong with the robe on made out of the old grave cloths that he didn't need anymore. He is showing a hand with two fingers pointed up to God and a staff on his left hand showing his royalty. And at the very, very top, is the Holy Spirit angel reminding us of Jesus's baptism and the day that God said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Now there's one more person in the window that we're gonna talk about today, but his story really doesn't come till next week. And that's Thomas. Thomas was not there the first night that Jesus appeared to the disciples. And he wasn't sure he could believe what they said. But when Thomas saw the risen Christ, he said, My Lord and my God. See it there in the red? My Lord and my God. And Thomas believed. Jesus said to Thomas, Blessed are those who believe and have not seen. And that's for all of us because none of us were there when this happened. It happened so long ago. 2,000 years ago, but we believe that Jesus is with us every single day. Jesus is with us in our homes. Jesus is with us when we can go to school. Jesus is with our mommies and daddies and our sisters and brothers and grandmas and grandpas. So during this time when things are a little strange, if you're ever afraid, you can know that Jesus is with you and Jesus is with those that you love. And you can pray for them. Say, Jesus, thank you for rising from the dead. Thank you for being with us in all times and all places. Thank you for listening today. We'll see you next week.